YouTube, welcome to Upside DIY. So I'm trying to, well, I'm trying to um, clean this area up. I'm going to put the speaker kind of on the ground over here. But the only problem is I'm not going to, maybe it's good right as it is. I got to a point of cleaning this for my new aquarium and this stand will not you know keep me comfortable in keeping an aquarium here unless it was like a lizard cage so let me go ahead and show you my new aquarium and um yeah i could really show you guys what's in this area i know some diy people um it's a tennis racket i could you know telescope and some of the extra film um you know this drawer is a little broken but most this and that that I find some tin boxes, uh, probably lights and things, a cordless phone, extra night light bulbs. Um, it's good to have these night lights because at nighttime the fish will be able to look around and stuff. So, um, and just a storage drawer. And here's one of the computer um, motherboards for, I mean, a TV motherboard for a flat screen TV so I was gonna put a fish tank right here but I'm deciding not to but um let me show you the fish tank and I'm actually you know going to use this area as pretty much like a fan I could put a fan here and stuff there's an extra outlet so it's really cool to have like a uh, air purifier and things like that right here so this is pretty much the aquarium. I was able to wash it, uh, just use, you know, wash the inside, the outside, rinsed off, you know, and then I turned it over and washed the bottom and things. Um, I could look for cracks. This this aquarium was in really good shape. The person um, who owned this really uh, kept it nicely. Um, so I'm going to show you guys the aquariums that I do have. Uh, the water is looking a lot clearer even though there's, you know, just, um, I haven't really fixed the air pump just yet. It's been like a week or two, probably a week of filtering since my last video. But this water is getting as clean as the aquarium over there that doesn't have a sponge filter in it or anything. This is basically like... No, you can't see it, but um, this greenish water for um, this 20 long, that's, uh, I moved the fish out. So I moved the fish into the 55 uh, since my last video. They look really nice, pretty much, um, you know, just relaxing underneath some really clean water. Uh, this and that, I don't, you know, that's guava fruit. I don't think that they eat guava. So I'm going to have to, uh, I didn't see them not eating that before they ate it, but right now they're not really, the, you know, they kind of, you know, this, this guava is floating, but hopefully it doesn't get acidic in there and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, they're really comfortable, you know, I kind of acclimated the water at first and things, but um, uh, the way how I did that was, uh, you know, had quite a few. Some clean water basically i'm um, actually from that barrel it, it had like soapy substances in it um you know the residue but i i kind of cycled it and then i mixed in some of the old aquarium water and then uh topped it off i think with some clean clean water i don't know um and some of the water from there i put into this aquarium i just don't know too much uh you know just to get it running I guess and then this is going to try to um, I mean uh, I you know it's been fixed up and things or whatnot with some chips and you know similar to this aquarium but um you know with this aquarium that I just got uh, it says 20 gallon tank oak oops sorry for 36.99 um, Pretty interesting but it's pretty nice it doesn't even sit on this table just right but uh you know it's an oak aquarium so I have this aquarium 
this aquarium and pretty much this aquarium to um you know just to work with maybe i'll, I'll get, you know if i find another oak 20 gallon tall because it's pretty much as tall as this aquarium i could pretty much use two of them on either side somehow and you know line the top up have a bunch of oak uh 10 gallons or something um I'm not 100% sure, um, but it would really fill up this wall and things, you know, and I could really make a good stand once I pretty much collected everything that I, that I needed, and then that's how I would do things. But the new aquarium, which is this aquarium, um, it's really good. The seal is good. It's just the top isn't sealed, like underneath the trim, or, you know, I... You know and all the gaskets and things or the seals and, and below the trim I see some spaces that need glue so I'm going to be trying to do something like that uh, finish this up and then uh, yeah um, it could you know hopefully this underneath this rug is not real I mean it's still a good floor it's just not like a hundred percent and ho hooking up aquariums and things you know you you don't want to waste your time and then have to uh, you know clean up stuff after or move stuff around especially at my age you know where as uh, I learned when I was little you know on aquariums and then um, you know I tried it a little bit um, here and there uh, but um, yeah yeah that's that's come kind of, you know, I can see an outlet right there, so I could plan on, you know, learning more, um, more of the development of having something that's pretty much, uh, you know, just do, you know, for aquariums and um, this came with a um, a few items. So and also what I did was I put a lot of these filter floss pieces just in a bucket. Uh, yeah, um, they're filter pads, they could be scrubbers, they make really good scrubbing material, um, you know, and filter pads and things like that. But you don't really need a lot of filter pads or anything, or, you know, I can make other types of filters, like the carbon filtering, you know, that thing when I do water changes. And the water seems to be okay, I can see a little film of oily something, I don't know, was on top, maybe that's from... Um, a chemical reaction with with some of the elements uh, with um, like algae and, and with uh, you know just fruit juice or something I don't know um, but yeah there is a chemical reaction always happening and you have to always pay attention to stuff like that um, so let me show you the supplies that I got for this and that should be most of the video I'm a little disappointed while making this video that I don't really have a good stand for this or anything so you know everything I find is it's not gonna always be the um, perfect thing it's more you know um, you know when you have to resell and hire your labor and things that's just how it goes uh, with the full uh, you know build and things and you kind of learn what people pretty much need and want and that's where you resell stuff resell services and stuff is, is just going little by little and um, finding you know stuff that you can reuse and then also getting getting busy into whatever you can with the time you have you know and this and that with the space uh, that is available so really nice aquariums happening I'm just glad these fish you know are doing real nice they really can um, can be different than having a bare bottom glass and you know needing their natural life and things uh, and cycles to develop themselves and it, it's really good putting the two gallon fish in here I was going to make a video about that and stuff but I, I, you know, I just wanted to get them settled and relieved 
uh, or finished up, you know, and it's kind of pretty much um, going to be a permanent aquarium for now. It's going to be around for a year or two, or maybe even three with these two fish in here. I can also add other strange fish or find more goldfish that I might like and let them join in. And it's going to build up into a community tank. Then I will have to get like um, a pond and things like that. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited and, you know, maybe get some, some more of these better, uh, you know, fabric type of plants because they do like some of the crevices and things, maybe do better aquascapes and really have these, the, uh, you know, and they're just hiding behind this tree right here. Both of them, they're really relaxed more and stuff, still trying to swim around and look for a place. And these fish are still, you know, not natural fish. They're not trying to be like human and you know have a weird um thing later on being attached to and things like that so right so let me move on and show you guys the lights the filters i didn't find an air pump but i found a uh, heater so so i didn't want to scream in everybody's ear like that i said heater but um there you go sorry about that um, it is getting close to Halloween and stuff, but I found this nice brown canopy light. It's going to match with that one aquarium, the new aquarium. It has two really nice um, two bulb. And um, I do have quite a lot of supplies. I found these two small, um, I think this goes through the back, uh, like on this side or something. So the water doesn't really go up into the light i don't know looks like there's two of them and if they're if they could really line up in a certain place then i, I i'm pretty sure that might that's how it goes but i'm gonna have to wash this and here's the light i wish i could really paint this up but if i paint this up like i did the other ones it's not gonna match the aquarium or whatnot um if i had like a black aquarium i mean i could you know do this and that but two 20 halls now really interesting um really interesting and i put the gravel cleaning this up i found some more really hard plastic plants which i'm not going to really use that much i'm going to use these for like painting like spray painting aquascapes onto glass or cardboard so this canopy and the light is really worth it um if you go to the store it's about 30 dollars 40 dollars especially for the right size and things but you can really resell it you know just depends on the person and things or how much business uh or you know just whatever it is um yeah with the aquarium it's a really nice deal i mean somebody would definitely be happy paying twenty dollars for the you know cover and an aquarium um everything else is a you know it, it does have a, a different social um but um you know with retailing and because they need to pay their rent they need to make money to build more and things and do better things so that's why stores and stuff will sell it more than what you find unfortunately but that's how it goes so i found this and I'm going to need to sand this down, all these rough edge. And then I found this heater, and I found a nice Penguin 125. I've always liked these types of heaters, or filters for some reason. And I'm going to really wash these up and things like that. Um, and, you know, the water flow is going to just basically turn the water and oxygenate it more. So, um, yeah. Got a nice HOB filter, pretty awesome, um, and a nice heater, and this is probably 100 watts, like 100 watts, so this is for a 20 gallon, you would think, um, they go, I've had a 250 watt one, so that would be probably a 55 gallon for 250 watts, but 100 watts, and you know, your fish, that really needs heat during the winter time if, if you're in a really cold place and things or you know stuff like that they could really use this and really uh, 
So I'm gonna just wash this stuff. I have this and that to wash it. So it's gonna be really cool. I'll be right back. So right here, I've got this rag to clean off any w wires. Uh, I just wash this, you know, just a bucket. And like I said, these filter pads can be used. Uh, you know, I reuse the soap just in case. I'm gonna do an another, uh, you know, I gotta wash other stuff. Or I can pour it into a waste basket because I can use that to wash the waste basket. All right, thanks for watching YouTube. I'll see you next time, bye.